me ask you about that. The Indianapolis Star is reporting that a 10-year-old girl in Ohio who was six weeks and three days pregnant now has to travel across state lines to Indiana to receive an abortion. So I just, mm -hmm. because this is a trigger law that was passed before you became governor, I wanted you to be clear. Will the state of South Dakota going forward force a 10-year-old in that very same situation to have a baby? You know what I think is incredible, Dana, in this tragic story? Because I heard about this last night. What's incredible is that nobody's talking about the pervert, horrible, right. and deranged individual that raped a 10-year-old. And what, is it, what are we doing about that? I agree what with you. What are we you. doing about I mean, those of individuals course. that that's, do this that's, these That is children. an important discussion you, to have. You but, rape but children. The, this, that's an issue that the Supreme yeah, Court has weighed in as I, well. Listen, I totally understand that. And as much as we talk that, about our, what we can do for that little girl, I think we also need to be addressing those sick individuals that do right. this to our children. I couldn't agree more. So but this, our bodies are our bodies, and women are the ones who, uh, who get pregnant. And in this case, it wasn't a woman. It was a girl. Should a she have to have a child. child? A child. Should she have and to have that baby? every single life. Every single life is precious. That, this tragedy is horrific. I can't even imagine. I've never had anybody in my family or myself gone through anything like this. I can't even imagine. But in South Dakota, the law today is that the abortions are illegal except to save the life of and the mother. And you would be okay with that, and, a 10-year-old girl having to have a baby? No, I'm never okay with that. In fact, that story will keep me up at night. It absolutely so will. So will you try to change the law mother, to have an I'm exception a, of, a in, in a situation like this? Got a one got a one-year-old little granddaughter mm -hmm. named Miss Addie. I can't even imagine. What I would say is I don't believe a tragic situation should be perpetuated by another tragedy. And so there's more that we've got to do to make sure that we really are living a life that says every life is precious, ex especially innocent lives that have been shattered like that 10-year-old girl. Yeah. And, and it's incredibly complicated, and I, and I get it. But I guess my question is, given how heartbroken you seem to be about the situation, Maybe the the question is this, because what I keep thinking about is how is a 10 year old girl physically no. probably can't even uh, carry a baby without being never mind emotionally and mentally uh, sort of tormented, but physically hurt. Would you consider that the life of a mother at risk? And I think that's something that, you know, that situation uh, the doctor, the family, the individuals closest to that will make the decisions there for that family. That's what's interesting about the time we live in right now is every state will have different laws on the books. The decisions will be made by the legislators that are closest to the people. That's appropriate. Mm -hmm. It's the way our Constitution intended. Uh, and I think that South Dakota's laws may look very different than California's, may look very different than New York's, where that governor has said, she wants to become a destination known for providing abortions. Well, that's not our story here in South Dakota. Yeah. Uh, and I think every governor, every state will make very different decision on what their laws look like. Uh, on that note, if Republicans take back Congress in Washington, would you support a national ban on abortion? You know, we'll see what Congress does and what those discussions are. I've never, Dana, uh, operated in hypotheticals. I've told people what my values are, how I would lead. And then I follow through on that. That's just something that I've always done running for elected office. You represent your people, but you also represent the person that the values that you hold and, and how you see your job as governor. We saw that during COVID. We saw that with uh, all the decisions that were made in different mm -hmm. states as far as impacting people's families and their businesses. South Dakota made very different decisions than every other state. Uh, I trust the people. I trust the Constitution. I hate the energy policy that this administration is bringing and harming our families. I hate the food insecurity that they're creating and the national security crisis that we have going on. Joe Biden has been devastating for this country, and I'm going to continue to fight to defend the people in South Dakota. Just real quick, is it a state right abortion or should it be a state right or not? It's, it's a decision that should be made at the state okay. level. Thank Absolutely. You. The Supreme Court mm -hmm. 